first, though, he's the one fox who's welcome to bite through my bin bags any night he wants. <laughs> it's the brilliant Matthew Fox! <laughs> My lovely house band, thank you very much. Yeah. Wonderful. Weren't they brilliant? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. mm. hey there. C -c -c Come on. <laughs> it's not about you today, George. Just zip it. Put a slip in it. <laughs> right, what can I get you to drink, love? Uh, how about a gin and tonic? Um... Uh, and a little bit of Schwe uh, Schweppes and like a twist of mint. Um, <laughs> what about Baby Sham? <laughs> you haven't seen I'll give... this show, have you? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <I> have. <laughs> you... <laughs> All we have is shit. All right, well, I'll take whatever is the best shit. Oh, <laughs> Baby Sham is good shit. <laughs> right. It's true, it? I nearly had to change from Adamant to Gabrielle. <laughs> I nearly lost an eye. <laughs> now, you know, I don't normally dress like this, cos it's an 80s show. Cheers, love. Really? Yes. <laughs> 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 what were you like in the 80s? What was you doing? Well, I grew up in Wyoming, uh, right. which is a really remote part of the United States of America, and... Um, I was going to high school and listening to really some bad music and um, <laughs> playing around with my brothers and doing crazy shit. <laughs> doing crazy shit? Yeah. Did you wear makeup like this? Uh, no. No, oh. not that kind of crazy shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, no. No, I mean, you know, burning things and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> not, yeah. not living things, just like... No, 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 we were all pyromaniacs. I grew up on a ranch, so we were, oh, we were always see. sort of uh, oh, lighting things on now. fire and setting yeah. off dynamite and that kind yeah. of thing. Oh, yeah. my God, wow. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a picture of you at your school prom. Oh, no. Look at this, look at that. <laughs> now, that is you on the right, isn't it? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's you on the left, there's a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that qualifies as a mullet. But what, what, her? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> this is what I looked like in the 80s. Look at that. <laughs> Someone wolf whistled. What sicko? <laughs> <laughs> My teeth look like they're having a party, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> is it just, you didn't have a TV when you were growing up. No, no. My dad was uh, uh, kind of opposed to television. Oh. He was really pro books. I mean, he wasn't so much anti television. He was just very much into us reading. And yeah. and then my my grandfather gave us a television when I was fifteen, which really pissed him off. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So what was it like when you first got your telly? Did it blow your mind? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, we, you know, me and my brothers spent a lot of time watching uh, the sports that my old man would let us watch and and some some programs. Did pretty... you ever, like, look behind the telly and try to grab the people like a caveman? <laughs> <laughs> it was special, but it wasn't quite that special. <laughs> <laughs> We're just checking, you never know. Uh... You fell into acting by accident. You originally yeah. wanted to become a banker because because you saw the film Wall Street. Yeah, saw Wall Street. Thought I was going to make a bunch of money and, and do what a lot of the kids going to Columbia and New York City did, which was, you know, go down and work oh. on Wall Street. Oh, because you watched Wall Street? Mind you, I wanted to become a prostitute after watching Pretty Woman. <laughs> okay. so? Now, I feel bad because I'm dressed <laughs> up like this, but obviously we've got to talk about your new film, which I saw. Yeah, let's Emperor. do. Emperor. Uh-huh. It's out next month, and it's set in Japan, and it's a story from World War II that we 
don't really hear about, do we? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I certainly didn't know very much about this, this period of time. Uh, most of my consciousness about World War II was focused on what was going on in Europe and, um, you know, in Germany and the horror of all that. And I feel like this, this period of time and, and how the conflict between the U.S. And, and the Japanese came to an end and it was really interesting to me and, and I, I felt uh, very excited to be a part of it. And it was a really good experience. Because at the end of World War II, your character had to decide whether to charge the Emperor of Japan with war crimes, didn't they, really? Well, was that, yeah, originally, I mean, that mission was given to uh, MacArthur by Washington. Uh, Washington gave him essentially like three weeks to round up all the war criminals, put them on trial, and make a determination of what they were going to do about Emperor Hirohito. Mm -hmm. Because nobody really knew how culpable he was in giving direct orders for Pearl Harbor and how much he was involved in the de declaration of war to start with. So my, my character in the film um, has 10 days to make this, make this decision and uh, takes it with a huge amount of respect. It feels an enormous amount of pressure to make the right decision. Yeah. Let's have a look at a clip. This is Matthew in the trailer for Emperor. The president has given me all of 10 days to conduct an investigation into the emperor's role in the war. If I put him on trial, I could be setting a spark to a powder keg. If I arrest the Emperor, I'll face mass suicides, possibly open the vote. If you want to save the Emperor, I need proof. Did the Emperor order the attack on Pearl Harbor? You incinerated two of our cities. Justice should be served. Revenge is not the same thing as justice. <laughs> Really good, really good. I've got to ask you, have you been to Tokyo? Because I've always wanted to go there, and everyone goes, oh, it's like going to the future. Is that true? It feels that way to me. It feels sort of like, um, it always makes me think of uh, Blade Runner. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's sort of incredibly oh, I urban. I can't wait to go there, really. Yeah, yeah, that's what it makes me think of when I go there. Can you go anywhere in the world without lost fans coming up to you asking what the hell was going on? <laughs> I haven't found that place yet. No. <laughs> no. Was there any time when you're reading the script going, what the? Yeah. yeah. All, all the time. Mm. I, I was uh, very much a fan of the show, but just got it through the scripts. And uh, yeah, I felt that way a lot and didn't know where it was headed. Yeah. Um, but I loved the way that it ended. I know a lot of people were not so happy with it, but I was very pleased. Yeah. Do you ever get the impression people were, like typing it going, this is good shit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's possible. Anyway, good luck with the film. Thank you. Thank you when, when's much. it out? When's it out? October 4th, it's out. Happy Fox, everyone! to my 80s band. Harry Krishna, everyone, thank you. Welcome to the 80s. Thanks, this is nice. Let's get some drinks going. What do you fancy? Pina colada? Um, what's that fizzy stuff over there? Limeade? Yeah, limeade. <laughs> you really want some of this? Yeah, that's, that's what I want. Yeah, but I, I got you these, because oh. I'll, I'll have a pina colada. You have that, because Just I saw this. you in Rio. Oh, with a coconut? Yeah, that's what I thought. Aww. Let me just pour your limeade. Thanks. That's nice, isn't it? I'm living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> now get yourself and a straw. <laughs> what did you make of Rio? Did you like it? Was it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, and no, they're fit amazing. as well, Brazilians, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They are fit. <laughs> Even the tramps, you're like, whoa. <laughs> And they walk around in bikinis no, and honestly, thongs. No, honestly. Oh, seriously. Everybody wears a thong. Yeah. Everyone. You go to the supermarket yeah. and there's like a woman. Honestly, it's like <laughs> a Benny Hill sketch. She's picking two melons and she's got this bikini. And I'm like, four, no, not it is. <laughs> and so you're over there doing a gig. Yeah, I did Rock in Rio, which was amazing. It was like 125,000 people. No way. Yeah, it was like probably the biggest gig live amount of people I've ever done. Alicia Keys was there, Justin Timberlake, Beyonce oh. did the night before. 
Yeah. You ran a competition for a fan to design your stage outfit. Yeah, I did. So why did you choose this one as the winner? <laughs> No, I've just, um, i just, uh, yeah, just talk me through it. <laughs> I've been intrigued about the green vagina. I mean, it's not a built-in camel toe. That's exactly what I wanted. It was on the brief. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, can I have a uh, camel hoof lime coloured crutch? Yeah. <laughs> Tick. <laughs> I'll have to ask my house fan. Hey, would you like ever wear anything like that? No, I'd rather go back to prison than be seen in that. George! <laughs> I'd have to be really off my face. <laughs> George, just ignore them. <laughs> now, I haven't seen you since you shaved all your hair off. Ta-da! Yeah, look at it! <laughs> Can I just touch it? Yeah, it's very crispy. Crispy? Yeah, it's like a meringue. Yeah, it's like a meringue. It's like, so it doesn't move. Yeah. Cos my hair's How like... can it move? It's that short. No, it, trust me, it grows. <laughs> my hair's really thick, and now I've cut it all off. Like, on stage, yeah. I'll come off, I look like a fluffy duck. How much money did you raise? Cos you shaved it off for Comic Relief. Um, yeah, we... Well, I saw Richard Curtis, the founder, about three weeks ago, and he said they've now raised altogether over 100 million, which is the most they've ever done. <laughs> So I'm so happy that oh, I did it. Oh, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Because there was the conspiracy theory that you had nits and stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't know who makes these stories up. I mean, it's just mm. bang out of order. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been getting more offers since you had it done? What kind of offers? Oh. <laughs> 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 people, right. people, yeah, people <laughs> want to dip your straw in your coconut. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I'm more approachable. I mm. think I became a bit of a cartoon character yeah. with the bob and the pale skin and I kind of let too many people have a, have a say on my yes. look. And as soon as I kind of took control back and saw some photos and was like, <laughs> it wasn't fancy dress, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of felt like I looked more soft and more yeah. like me. I feel like more like me mm. now. Yeah. <laughs> You said you're too busy for a relationship, but you want kids. That doesn't work, does it? I've got to say, <laughs> someone has to break it to your love. Yeah. <laughs> so what's that like There's a straw and a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> so now, how's it going to work? All in good time. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say to me, like, what's your biggest dreams in life? And Obviously, everyone has their career, but their personal dreams, too, and yeah. I do want to be a mum one day, mm. but I have to find someone. Oh. And it's really hard when you're... There's no fit people in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Why are good-looking people not going home today? You need to be shagged properly. <laughs> yeah, not, not by shagged. me, sadly. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but no, like, all in good time. I'm very yeah. focused on my career and... Oh, OK. Well, it's going so well and everything. Oh, yeah. There'll be time for a kid. And you've got a dog, and not Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to be careful. Than a bloody baby. I'm going to be careful how I, how I answer this because I don't want to people. Jesse J dates her dog. <laughs> <laughs> is he is he toilet trained? He is now. Yeah. He had his moments <coughs> where yeah. he wasn't. That... <laughs> and he pooed everywhere. Oh. Tom Jones, his dressing room. How do you know it wasn't Tom though? <laughs> We love Tom. Does he have a... You know, cos you wear a lot of leopard skin print. Does, <laughs> does he, ever... he panic or attack me? Uh, no, does he ever think you're his mother? <laughs> <laughs> does he ever well, I suppose he to... does think I'm his mum, cos I, I picked him up when he was eight weeks old. Oh. And, obviously, their, their biggest thing is their scent. He doesn't try to suckle you or anything. <laughs> No, no, he does not try to, me, to it suckle me. It happened to me once. Thank you. A petting zoo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was bending over and this goat... Anyway, it's Whoa. a long story. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Thank you. So, no, we are not dating. I've never had sex with my dog. <laughs> Chatty man exclusive. <laughs> now, your new album, Alive, is out next week. You wrote, yes, I know. I love those hoop earrings. Thank you. You wrote it in five weeks. I did, yeah. Over five... Five weeks was the amount of studio time I had over a year. Yeah. So, like, I kind of put the days together and realised that I wrote this album in five weeks. The first one was nearly seven years, so... 
It was a big change, yeah. I just basically write about my life. Yeah. Yeah, everything that's on the album is very honest and very true, but obviously my life's very different now, you know? Like yeah, it's yeah. It's completely different from when I wrote, wrote the first album, but I kind of just exaggerate moments in my life and make them into songs. Uh, Dizzy Rascal, uh, Big Sean and Brandy all yes. appear on it. Have you gone all brap, brap, brap for us? <laughs> um, imagine. Um, the, 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 the inside rocker. Um, that's the intro to the album. <laughs> Why did you spread your legs when I did that? Because yeah, I, I, mean... <laughs> I, I wanted to do the butterfly. Oh, the butterfly. <laughs> oh. butterfly. Who that? Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna taught me the butterfly Amazing. and the dirty wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Funny, that's the noise my thighs make when I do it. <laughs> No, I mean, having Brandy, there's a duet with myself and Brandy. She's one of my favourite singers yeah. of all time. And, yeah, I feel very, very lucky to have her on the album. Your tour in America with Robin Thicke. Yes. Next year. Yes. Now, we're not going to see you scratching your tuppence with a sponge finger, are we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> oh. I mean, I hear he's highly sexed. I'm actually shooting a video of Robin next week. Oh, my God. Yeah. Kicks and mace, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, he's, he's on my show, he's coming on my show. He's amazing, in a couple he's such a nice guy, such oh. a nice guy. Well, I've heard all these rumours, I've had a chub lock put on my dressing room. <laughs> no. It's thick, I say, how thick? No one. <laughs> what did you make of all the Miley Cyrus business at the VMAs? Are you pro or anti twerking? Um. I think I'm... Oh, no. Um... OK. I get this feeling you're editing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think... OK, so it's, it's a weird subject because I don't actually... I don't know, I don't find it funny or anything. I actually find it quite sad. Mm. No, I do. I find it sad. I think it's... She's really young. And... Yes. I don't know. I feel like... I, I, I know how hard it is to break away from a character that the world have created. Yeah, And I think yeah. people want to meet Hannah Montana, and she's not Hannah Montana. No. She's Miley Cyrus, but she's, she's still... She's Hannah Las Vegas. Yeah, she's very young still. <laughs> she's only 20, <laughs> and I just feel like, yeah, I just think... I don't think it should have been as celebrated as it was, in my, no, in my no. opinion. I know I've been there, though. I remember when Dude came out of him and was like, whoa, you know, and I, so I understand that sometimes you do things and you go, I've done it now. There's no way of testing in the public until you do it. No. Whether you know it's wrong or right. And mm. sometimes you convince yourself that something's right and then you watch it back and go, really? Um, yeah. But I just hope that people around her are, are guiding her in the right way because, yeah. 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 Well yeah. said, well yeah. said. No, I just, I just, I, I think she's great though. I do, yeah, I, I do. I just, I just really, her new song I think is amazing, Record Ball is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, listen, we've got to take a break there, Jessie. Okay. Uh, join us again in a couple of minutes when Jessie will be chatting and performing. See you in part four. <laughs> Welcome back to part four of my Chatty Man 80s special. Look who's still here. It's only Jesse Bloom and Jay. <laughs> now, you like tweeting. Yes. And your Instagram and all your photos. Yes. But, um, obviously, if you don't like Twitter, um, I should tell you about the Chatty Man CFAX page, which... <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh... Amazing. If you don't remember the 80s and CFAX oh, was sort of like Twitter, this. but shit. <laughs> it's got exclusive backstage chat and pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you want to know what the weather is, there you go. <laughs> Page 455, you can't miss it, OK? <laughs> now, I've got to ask you about the voice. You're not doing it this series. No. Oh. Oh. Why have you <laughs> Someone's like, woo! Getting <laughs> <laughs> Why... Saturday nights back. Woo! Wow. Well, I mean, that must be great getting your Saturday nights back. <laughs> there I am, looking really serious. Yes, um, yes. That doesn't even look like me. It's really weird. No, it's really it is funny hair. how you've changed. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, you have, it is strange, though. I see myself dark hair and I'm like, that's weird. Yeah. Um, I literally just cannot... I'm too busy. I, yeah. I have to do my tour. So I had to prioritise, and for me, my music is always my priority. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been on the show had I not had an yeah. album out, so... 
There was always stories in the paper making out that you were a diva backstage. That's me being a diva. That's as diva as I know. it gets. I think, I'm not, not just saying it because you're here, but you are probably <laughs> the least diva person. Yeah. Did that just get on your nerves, people? Because I know they tried to stir up shit, but was yeah. that a reason why you're like, oh, I don't think I can be bothered with this? It did get ridiculous to a point where I was like, where are they creating this from? Yeah. Like, yeah. that I demanded 30 chairs in my dressing room. Why would I need to do that unless I had a kid's party? You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, and, like, I, I was late. I was never late. I was no. always the first there. Mm. Not naming names who was last. <clears throat> Will. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I just, I'm, I am myself and... Well, you did have to come in yeah. from Mars. Yeah, you know, exactly. Where? <laughs> yeah. On my way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where's like, car park in space? There's a circle on the roof. <laughs> it's a spaceship to land. <laughs> But, no, I, I love yeah. to be on the show, and you mm. do have to always get the bad with the good. And yeah. what show has never had that female diva? Talisa got it, Kelly yeah. Rowland's had it, Nicole's had it, I've had it, Kylie's going to get it. Yeah. You yeah. know? And, yeah. and Kylie's the sweetest person mm. ever, so mm. who knows what they're going to make up about her. So, yeah. and, uh, how do you think as Kylie's your replacement? I think it's amazing that Kylie's doing it. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what she brings. I thought you were going to put a picture up there. Every time I say Kylie, another picture... There it is. The picture comes up. I put a lazy eye. I didn't want to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think she's going to be great. I hope that she's tough, though. Yeah. I hope that she's critical, because that's what I want to be replaced with as well, because I felt like I was the most honest. Yeah, we don't want nice Kylie. No. We want bitch Kylie. <laughs> Destructive Kylie. Yeah. But I think, uh, you know... I love Kylie's ass. <laughs> and I just think it's a waste to be on that chair. But please, I hope, please, I hope that they play, I'm spinning, spinning around. And yeah. she goes round every time. She'd be like, I'm yeah. spinning around. Yeah. Showing her ass. <laughs> I'm spinning around. I love it. Uh, good luck with the live. Thank you. When's it out? 23rd of September. 23rd of September. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> You're going to perform for us now. Yeah. yeah, you go and get ready. You warm up, my love. Thank you so much, Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse Day, everyone. <laughs> That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Jules Holland, Suggs, Matthew Fox, and of course, the wonderful Jesse Day.